Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss taxonomic categories or taxonomic hierarchy. Okay, so what is this taxonomic categories or hierarchy? First of all, it is also called as Linean Hierarchy. as it was first proposed by Linus. Now hierarchy or category is basically the classification of organism in a definite sequence of categories. So what is this? It is basically classification of organisms. in a definite sequence of categories okay so there's one very important point that this can be in descending order starting from kingdom and going up to species but what happens is the number of similar characters decreases from lowest to highest rank so when we move from species to kingdom the number of similar characters decreases okay so this means species have the most number of similar characters okay so we'll take up uh, species first and uh, we'll go uh, in ascending order Till kingdom and we'll take up everything with example so that you understand it in a much better way. Now, what is species? Species is basically a natural population of individual or group of population which resemble one another in all essential morphological or reproductive characters. Okay, so maybe in a simpler language, it is basically a group of individual organisms with fundamental similarities. Okay, so say for example, uh, mango is a species indica of genus mangifera so mango's scientific name as we discussed in the previous video is mangifera indica okay so this species basically is indica in the same way uh, say lion so lion species is leo with the genus Panthera. Okay. Now, what we see is the next one that is genus. May one very important point about genus is each genus may have one or more than one species epithets representing different organisms, but they have morphological similarities. That means that the organisms are different. There are two different organisms with the same genus, but they have a lot of similarities morphologically. Okay, so say Panthera, tiger is another species with specific epithet tigris and the genus is common for lion and tiger, that is Panthera. Okay, so that is where we go to genus. Genus comprises of a group of related species, okay, which has more characters in common. Okay, so basically genus are aggregates of closely related species okay 
so for example uh, say one we saw is panthera leo and panthera tigris wherein the genus is common in both but they are they are two different species uh, one more example would be potato and brinjal where in potato for potato the genus is solanum and the species name is tuberosum Therein, for brinjal, again the genus is same, that is solanum. Melangina is the species. So again, the species are different with the same common genus. Okay. Now, uh, the next one is family. So basically family has a group of related genera. So now basically we are doing the grouping, moving towards the higher level. So species are single species. Then genus are maybe two species of the same genus. Now again, family is a group of related genera. And now the number of similarities is decreasing. Okay, so with still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species okay so family exactly is a group of related genera or genus okay with less number of similarities okay so here like the example Panthera, the genus Panthera comprises of lion, tiger, leopard and is put along in the same family with the genus Felis that is a cat family, Felidae, a cat family. So basically the family of cat and the family of panther or lion or tiger share the common similarities and they are put together in the same family okay now moving towards order it's again being a higher category it is assemblage of families which maybe have a few similar characteristics or characters okay now family like carnivora okay so fam the order carnivora have the two families panthera and felis okay so they have they basically have both the families and in the order carnivora basically carnivora is carnivora are carnivorous animals who live on flesh who eat flesh okay so order being a higher category is basically an assemblage of families which maybe uh, have a few similar characters okay now moving towards class so basically this category includes related orders okay so now as we move upwards towards class phylum and division now the similarities number of similarities or number of similar characters are decreasing okay so here for example the order mammalia sorry so basically the order carnivora 
and Felidae and uh, Panthera are basically comes in the same class Mammalia. So if we talk about class Mammalia, it has order like Primata. Primata which has species like monkey, gorilla and Carnivora which has tiger, cats. So these two orders are put together in the same class Mammalia. Okay. So now the number of characters, similar characters are decreasing and then we go up to the next category that is phylum or division. So basically these have groups of classes. Okay, so maybe classes comprising of animals like fishes, amphibians, okay, reptiles, birds, they are along with the mammals constitute the higher category called phylum. Okay, then again in clay case of plants, it is known as division. So this is one very important point that in case of phylum, in case of animals, it is known as phylum and in case of plants with like few similar characters, it is as called as division. So this is in case of plants. And what happens is group of classes of fishes, amphibians, reptiles and mammals are to put together in the phylum. Then comes the kingdom. So kingdom being the highest category comprises of animalia and plant kingdom. Animal kingdom and plant kingdom. So now all the animals are put together in the kingdom animalia and then all the plants are put together in the kingdom plant Okay, so what we'll do is we'll study the entire taxonomy giving some examples and how the animals are basically categorized together. So say we'll take the first example of man. Okay, so for man, what is the scientific name that is? Homo sapiens. Okay, now here the genus is Homo, the species is sapiens, then comes the family. So, family is Hominidae. Okay, then comes, so this is the family. Okay, then comes the order that is primata, then comes the class that is mammalia, and then phylum is chordata. Chordata means having a backbone. So, for man, if I classify, Species is sapiens, genus is homo, family is hominidae, then order is primata, class is mammalia, and phylum is chordata. Now, after that, the kingdom is animal. Okay, then let's take an example of say house fly. Okay, so the scientific name of house fly is. Musa domestica okay, or Musca domestica as in what you want to say. So the genus name is this, the species is domestica. Okay, now the family is Musidae. The order is Diptera. Class, it being the insect, 
is insecta and the phylum is arthropoda so arthropoda basically is a division wherein the insects or the organisms have joint joint appendages okay so this is the classification of house fly then let's go to a plant or uh, say mango okay so for mango the scientific name is mangifera indica this is the genus this is a species then again the family is and cardiaceae okay then the order is sapindales then it's a dicotyledon so the class is dicotyledon and then it's an angiosperm so all these terms we are going to study in for the future videos that i'll be making okay then we'll go to another plant say wheat so the scientific name is triticum aestivum so here the genus is triticum the species is aestivum then the family is poesy okay the order is poems then this is a monocotyledon but it's an angiospore so it's an angiosperm now you can see here the phylum in case of or say in case of plants it will be division so the division here is same angiosperm so mango and wheat both are of plant kingdom and both are angiosperms now since one has two cotyledons so it is di it comes under class of dicotyledon and in case of wheat it is a monocotyledon and then the order and family differs okay so it happens that with two variety of plants the phylum or division is same because of some common factors or some common characteristics so this is all about the taxonomic categories i hope you understand you understood everything and as i mentioned in the previous video like if you if in case you have any doubt please don't forget to mention that in uh, the comment section below and i'll take it up in further videos also if you have a particular topic that you you want to make you want me to make a video on or you have a lot of doubts with please do let me know in the comment section and do share it among your friends and if you like the video keep subscribing to my channel thank you